Have you ever found yourself questioning the nature of your own existence? Have you ever pondered the mysteries of the human mind and wondered what truly drives our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors? Today, I stand before you not as an expert with all the answers, but as a fellow explorer of the human psyche, ready to embark on a thought-provoking journey of self-discovery. Human psychology is a vast and complex field, intricately woven with the threads of philosophy, biology, and sociology. It is a discipline that seeks to unravel the enigmatic workings of our minds, shedding light on the intricacies of human behavior and the factors that shape our individual experiences. As we delve into the depths of this captivating subject, we will encounter a myriad of theories and perspectives that offer unique insights into the human condition. From Sigmund Freud's exploration of the unconscious mind to Carl Jung's concept of the collective unconscious, each theory presents a different lens through which we can understand ourselves and others. But psychology is not solely concerned with theoretical frameworks and abstract concepts. It is a discipline that holds practical significance in our everyday lives. By understanding the intricacies of our own minds, we gain valuable insights into our strengths, weaknesses, and patterns of behavior. Armed with this knowledge, we can navigate life's challenges with greater self-awareness and make informed decisions that align with our values and aspirations. Moreover, psychology extends beyond the individual level, offering valuable insights into the dynamics of interpersonal relationships, group behavior, and societal phenomena. By studying the intricacies of human behavior, we gain a deeper understanding of the social structures that shape our lives, and we can work towards creating a more compassionate and inclusive society. However, as we journey into the realm of psychology, it is important to approach this subject with an open and critical mind. While theories and research findings provide valuable insights, they are not infallible truths. As our understanding of the human mind evolves, so too must our perspectives and interpretations. It is through a constant process of questioning, exploring, and challenging existing knowledge that we can truly expand our understanding of the human psyche. Therefore, my friends, let us embark on this intellectual adventure together. Let us embrace the complexities of the human mind and explore the fascinating world of psychology. Through our collective curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge, we can uncover the hidden depths of our own selves and contribute to the ever-growing body of psychological wisdom. So, without further ado, let us dive into the intricate tapestry of the human mind and embark on this captivating journey of self-discovery and understanding. Together, let us unravel the mysteries that lie within and gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and beauty of the human experience. May our exploration of psychology bring us closer to the truth and illuminate the path towards personal growth and societal progress. 1889, Wittgenstein's philosophical journey took him through various phases of thought, each marked by a unique perspective on the nature of language and its relationship to reality. In his early work, Wittgenstein explored the idea that language is a representation of the world, with words corresponding to specific objects or concepts. He believed that the meaning of a word is derived from its use in everyday language and that the meaning of a proposition is determined by its verifiability. However, as Wittgenstein delved deeper into the complexities of language, he began to question the adequacy of his earlier views. He came to realize that language is not merely a tool for representing the world, but also a system of rules and conventions that shape our understanding of reality. Language, according to Wittgenstein, is a form of life intimately connected to our social and cultural contexts. In his later work, published posthumously as The Philosophical Investigations, Wittgenstein shifted his focus to the practical aspects of language and the ways in which it is used in everyday communication. He argued that meaning is not fixed by a set of definitions or rules but is instead a product of how words are used in specific contexts. Wittgenstein also explored the idea of language games, which are rule-governed activities that involve the use of language. These language games shape our understanding of concepts and allow us to communicate effectively with others. By examining the various language games that exist within different domains of human activity, Wittgenstein sought to uncover the diverse ways in which language functions in our lives. One of Wittgenstein's most influential ideas is the notion of the language games of different forms of life. According to Wittgenstein, Language is not a fixed and universal structure but rather a dynamic and context-dependent tool that is shaped by our lived experiences. Each form of life has its own language games, its own rules and conventions, which determine the meaning and use of language within that particular context. Wittgenstein's philosophical insights have had far-reaching implications in various fields, 
including linguistics, cognitive science, and philosophy of mind. His emphasis on the practical aspects of language and the ways in which it is embedded in social and cultural practices has challenged traditional views of language as a purely representational system. In conclusion, Ludwig Wittgenstein's exploration of language and its relationship to reality has revolutionized our understanding of language and its role in human cognition and communication. His ideas continue to inspire and provoke philosophical inquiry inviting us to reevaluate our assumptions about the nature and limits of human knowledge. Wittgenstein's work serves as a reminder that language is not a static entity, but a dynamic and evolving tool that shapes our understanding of the world and our place within it. Wittgenstein's views on religion are also of great importance in the realm of philosophy. He believed that religious language is fundamentally different from ordinary language, as it does not aim to describe empirical facts or make scientific claims. Instead, Religious language serves a different purpose it functions as a form of expression for our deep-rooted human concerns, such as questions about the meaning of life, morality, and the existence of God. According to Wittgenstein, religious beliefs and practices are embedded within specific cultural and social contexts, and their meaning is derived from their use within those contexts. He argued that religious language is more akin to poetry or art as it seeks to evoke certain emotions and experiences rather than convey straightforward factual information. Wittgenstein emphasized the importance of recognizing the limits of language when it comes to discussing religious matters. He believed that attempting to provide definitive proofs or arguments for religious beliefs is misguided, as the nature of religious language transcends logical analysis. Instead, he encouraged a more humble and contemplative approach to religious questions, recognizing that they may be deeply personal and subjective in nature. By highlighting the distinct nature of religious language, Wittgenstein challenged the traditional philosophical approaches that sought to either prove or disprove the existence of God through logical arguments. He invited us to move beyond the limitations of language and explore the realm of religious experiences acknowledging that these experiences may be difficult to articulate or fully grasp through rational discourse. In conclusion, Wittgenstein's views on religion shed light on the distinct nature of religious language and its role in expressing deeply held human concerns. They challenge us to move beyond rigid philosophical frameworks and embrace the subjective and experiential aspects of religious beliefs. Wittgenstein's insights remind us of the importance of humility, introspection, and open-mindedness when engaging with religious questions, as they may transcend the boundaries of ordinary language and logical analysis. Wittgenstein's exploration of the non-realist interpretation of religious beliefs serves as a valuable contribution to our understanding of the complexities of human thought and language. By recognizing the distinct nature of religious language and its connection to our deeply rooted existential concerns, we are encouraged to approach religious beliefs and practices with a sense of openness, humility, and respect. Wittgenstein's emphasis on the subjective and personal nature of religious experiences reminds us that faith and spirituality are deeply individual journeys, shaped by our unique perspectives, emotions, and experiences. It invites us to move beyond the limitations of logical analysis and embrace the mystery and depth of religious phenomena. Moreover, Wittgenstein's perspective challenges the tendency to reduce religious beliefs to mere factual claims that can be proven or disproven through empirical evidence. Instead, he highlights the importance of understanding religious language as a form of expression that goes beyond straightforward descriptions of the world. This perspective encourages us to engage with religious beliefs and practices on a deeper level, exploring the emotional, symbolic, and experiential dimensions that they encompass. In adopting a non-realist interpretation of religious beliefs, we are invited to engage with religion as a rich and complex tapestry of human experiences, rather than reducing it to a set of rigid doctrines or dogmas. This approach allows for a more inclusive and pluralistic understanding of religion, recognizing the diversity of beliefs and their cultural, historical, and personal contexts. Ultimately, Wittgenstein's non-realist interpretation of religious beliefs invites us to approach the realm of spirituality and faith with an open mind and a willingness to engage with the complexities and uncertainties that they entail. It encourages us to explore the depths of our own beliefs and experiences, while respecting the diversity of perspectives that exist within the realm of religion. Up until next time, take care, and see you soon.